Hi guys, this is Steven with Function and Write, and um, I'm going to be here with Ben today talking about dorsiflexion. Yes, I said dorsiflexion. And basically all that is, is ankle range of motion with the toe pointing up. So ben, can you show me a little dorsiflexion action right here? So I'm going to have you step off and do the test. Yeah, that's dorsiflexion right here, where his toe is lifting up. Now he's going to do a test to see how much, or quantify how much he's dorsiflexion he actually has. I need him to have three to four inches of dorsiflexion, or this knee to come three inches to four inches forward without the heel rising off of the board. So let's see what he's got here. Good. And because Ben's an awesome, awesome athlete, he's got about three and a half inches. So he's perfectly fine. But if you're doing this on yourself, you need to make sure that you're at least at three inches or you really don't have any business squatting or lunging or doing any you know, functional deep flexion exercises in the hip. So this is Steven with Functioning Right. Have a great day. Next time we'll talk about some correctives for the legs. All right, see you later.